السلام علیکم ویورز یو آر واچنگ اس انجینئرنگ سروسز اینڈ آئی ایم یور ہوسٹ کمر حسن اقبال فرینڈز ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا پی ایل سی ایس 7 1200 ہارڈ ویئر اینڈ ڈیورنگ دس پی ایل سی وی ول سی دیٹ ہیو دیٹ از ایکچولی دیٹ یو سی دس ان پکچر دس پی ایل سی وی آر یوزنگ ان اور ٹریننگ سو ٹوڈے وی ول سی دا ون بائی ون اباؤٹ دس ماڈیول دیٹ you are see in this video so that is actually you see the total five module one is a pm that is used for power module second is the communication module or you can say net internet module and third one is the that that is a cpu and fourth one is the sm so first we will go this power module that is pm1207 that is catalog number you can search this catalog number from pm1207 and the next one is the internet for the net connection you can need to connect with the internet so you can use this csm module 1277 and uh, symmetric net you can see these upside these cables are the power up for these modules one is the grounding to the power so that is actually if you want to connect your uh, your plc with uh, any other plc through internet so you need this module symmetric net this csm1277 so if you are going only for your local no need this module the third one that is actually the main our cpu that is cpu smetic s7200 but if you can go in detail that is actually the cpu 1214c and the sh these are the dc 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 actually that is our showing the led is uh, run and stop led then the run led error led and maintenance led so these leds you can see the status of your cpu through this so easily you understand your cpu is running or your cpu is stop what condition here is the cable that is used for the ethernet for communication with your uh, system so second one is these leds are the actually the ios led input that used for the digital input actually here digital input are total are you can see that is uh, eight plus 640 14 ios in digital input you are using and this 1214 cc dc 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 showing that dc first dc is actually the dc power supply required for the own the cpu and the second dc is showing that your input should be dc and the third dc is showing that your output will also receive is the dc so accordingly your hardware is required when you are doing this configuration you need uh, one dc power supply to power up this cpu and input also required in dc and output also in dc so this output is also dq is showing that uh, that is a digital output only here no any analog output available only one analog but you required one module for the more expansion of this system so if we go to led led also showing this input and output which one is for the running which one is a stop if the light is green it's mean the output or input is on if led is not any colored or off mean this your concern this uh, output or input is off so you can also understand easily with the led that is working or not working your output or input same like your error is showing if any error come in hardware their error led will on if you are going in maintenance your maintenance led will on so easily you can understand in previous plc's this option not available you need to check it and uh, here i one switch also for on off for maintenance and but in latest one this s7 1200 1500 there is no option for the switches you can directly through your system you can configure it no need to 
change the switch hard, hard switch on the PLC also so here you have only LED that showing with, mm, that uh, you are running right now or you are in maintenance condition or you have any error so is easy as compared to previous one and uh, same like input output also showing here very easily you can understand if you can if we go and zoom you see here is the uh, first one is a 24 volt DC that is used for the on your system your CPU so you can provide this uh, provide the power supply for this module and uh, the third one is actually the grounding cable that used for grounding and the next one is the 24 volt DC that actually using for external if you require external any power from the PLC I have option for the PLC that you can use power supply from there and uh, you can use this actually uh, we are using this power supply for sink or source that you know for sinks or source so we use this power supply in our like uh, M is uh, in digital input you see 24 volt DC input is showing 1M 1M is actually the sinking you have done air sinking only just uh, put a one jumper from 24 volt DC to 1M is sinking that mean this uh, power supply is right now have a uh, sink with your 24 volt DC so DC we give here so one by one we use this out we will connect these inputs here to our input may be any sensor or any transmitter or anything that you are using that may be temperature pressure or flow so we can use it as a input here so here no option for the analog so for the analog you can see this downside have one uh, one um, cover is closed if you can open this cover here you can add the card for the analog input and then you can use it as an analog input also so this D1B is mean you can use its sync source is different like first 8 you can use different and then next 6 you can use for different sync sync maybe first one you can use the positive syncing and the next you require negative so you can connect here D1B is a negative one so you can also have option in previously this option not available so analog input here only two analog input that is supporting here same like this you need to connect here analog and like a digital that we have done this cable if you require more you need to expansion there so so that is the other side of this uh, PLC if you see this link is showing that if you are connecting your system or you are connecting with the uh, any of your other system your uh, plant so the link is on mean you are connected and when you connect this ethernet cable a profinet cable this showing this link is connected when you doing any data this RXTX cable will blinking mean you are compiling so that is the output same like this output is also here you can connect this output with your maybe your any output is motor or anything lamp or anything that you want to run as per your logic here is the dq dq actually showing that the in our P, uh, siemens output is showing with q so that's why it's showing here q and upside you see di di mean input that uh, in Siemens PLC letter diagram when you're doing the programming you need I for input and Q for output and this uh, DQ is DQ is same like here uh, for the output for the output if you are doing <coughs> sorry that is a uh, sinking you see this card I already told if you remove this cover you can add here one analog output so you can easily easily no need any scaling or no need any anything you directly connect here your uh, analog that is analog is 0 to 20 million plus minus 12 volt DC you can add here
so these are that is a basic class cpu configuration that you can easily understand if you have any question you can ask me no issue so that is module actually the sm module sm module sm actually module that is a uh, uh, sm 1234 1234 is showing here aiaq is mean that is used for analog input and analog output in this sm 1234 is showing that you have a total four input analog and two output analog so you can easily you can connect your here your analog same like cpu we discussed the leds this led is showing same like this so you can easily understand and uh, the other one is sm1223 is the dc dc this mean that is showing that uh, digital input and digital output these are the module actually using for the digital and this is for the analog so that our complete overview of our today video for the regarding this hardware so if you have any query you have any question you can ask me you can comment on this video and uh, if you like this video please comment uh, please subscribe our channel for the more videos thank you so much <music>